Community Day in McGoffin County. Put your hands together. Let us hear you. We've got a great, a great event lined up for you today. And uh, without further ado, let's welcome to the stage Donna Sayer and Scotty Patrick. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 14th Annual Community Day. Donna, say something. <laughs> He's trying to make me do all the work. But we really do want to welcome all of you. We have a great event planned today. We've got a great lineup, so everybody just enjoy yourself. Okay, now let's have the opening prayer by Jim Jones. If you've got a neighbor that's not here and is sitting home doing nothing, and uh, trying to figure out what they want to do, get on the cell phone and call them and tell them to come down and have a great day. We've got a great lineup as usual. We've got uh, local artists. We've got uh, some uh, nationally known bands. And Kathy Puckett will be here all day introducing them. But the most, and we also are going to have a visit from two special people. Uh, I think they're going to make it here in time. Grandpa Jones and Miss Minnie Pearl. They'll be here, and they're gonna be running a, yay! And they're gonna be running that contest called the Cowbell Contest, and this is where a chance, uh, uh, someone will have a chance to win 700 big dollars, and a couple other people could win $300 each. We're gonna do the drawing at uh, around five o'clock this afternoon, so go to the booths, figure out what you need to do. All you have to do is just buy one ticket, at uh, five different uh, booths on whatever they're selling and they'll give you a free ticket. You take those free tickets over to the bank and they'll put, put it in uh, for the drawing. And you'll come up on the stage and we'll have a little quiz and you'll ring a cowbell and hopefully you got the right answer. So that's something we've always done is have uh, that. But this year I'm really excited about something new that's been added. Many of you know that in April uh, the students of uh, McGovern County Schools put on a program at the high school, both middle school and high school, where they performed and showed off their talents to uh, those who were there. It was a great success, and we, uh, the foundation, is partnering with the McGovern County School System to help these young people uh, grow as individuals and become uh, very great adults from McGovern County. So we want to show their talents to you, the people of McGoffin County, and, and let you see what they can do and what they're gonna be great citizens in the future. So this is the most exciting part of the program uh, that we're gonna have this year. We've also got about 40 young high school and middle school students that are volunteering with each of the uh, booths. Uh, they're gonna helping them with their programs. So if you see somebody with a maroon shirt like this, it's maroon for the McGoffin County High School, to tell them you appreciate what they're doing and help them do their job. With that, I'll now turn it over to Donna who will give us a little more information about sponsors and so forth. Again, welcome everyone. As I said before, we've got a great program lined up. We've got the famous money machine back. I do want to thank all of our sponsors. Without them, we could not put this on. Uh, we have so many great volunteers that helped us get everything set up so if you like Scotty said you see somebody in one of these t-shirts give them a hand because they've worked very hard to put this together <laughs> and now I want to introduce to you Joyce Joseph He's, she is our newest member of the McGoffin County Community Foundation and one of the leaders of Project ECHO. Thank you, and thank you students for showing up today. Uh, we're going to start out with the high school band over here and then the high school dancers. After that, we will have the gifted and talented performers from middle school and high school. Then we'll have the middle school choir and we will end it with our first and second place winners from yesterday's Big Sandy and McGoffin County's Big Sandy uh, winners one and two, first and second place, and they will be competing in March at the Big Sandy at the Mountain Arts Center. 
Two people I want to introduce that have been really helpful to me are Superintendent Scott Helton and Mr. Chris Meadows, principal of the high school. They would like to say something. I don't have much to say, but I just want to thank our students and parents and our staff that are in the crowd today. Uh, it's a privilege and honor to have our students perform here. And uh, we started this about a year ago, Joyce and I did, uh, through a little conversation about how we could involve our students in schools within the community. And this seemed to be a perfect fit. Uh, we have students, uh, Mr. Meadows has worked uh, with Joyce, uh, some of our beta students are going to be working in the booths today. You'll see a couple of them spread around and uh, it's just a good opportunity for them to get to experience what the community is about. And uh, like I told Joyce, uh, if our school system doesn't uh, take pride in the community, then how can the community take pride in the school system? And uh, it's been a privilege to be uh, w working with this group. And uh, we have uh, started a project, and you'll get to notice those next week. We're, we're building, uh, and it sounds funny, but we're building benches, and we're painting them uh, decorative colors to re reflect the uh, area and the community and uh, kind of like what you see in Pikeville when you go by and you see the bears or Lexington you see the horses we're doing something like that with some benches and we're going to put uh, in conjunction with the uh, mayor's office I spoke with Pete yesterday we're going to put uh, starting Tuesday we're going to install two downtown by the Justice Center and by the uh, 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 some of the offices down the, in Lower Town and then we're going to put another one up here by the uh, rescue squad where the beginning of the trail starts. Uh, we're hoping to do two or three a year and it's just something that our students and our art students and our, our vocational students uh, collaborated on and were able to build and, and uh, just something that will reflect uh, our community and our school system. Again, I want to thank uh, uh, this committee for allowing us to be here, uh, Mr. Patrick, and all of you for showing up to support our children. Thank you. I would just quickly like to thank um, all of you for allowing our students the opportunity to showcase talents. Um, a lot of times it seems that uh, focus is on athletics and athletics is great, but we know that um, our students have uh, multiple talents and it's important to showcase them all. So it's uh, really a pleasure to be here today. We thank all of those involved uh, for allowing our students to showcase their talents and we appreciate your support. Thank you. Well, we thank uh, Mr. Helton and others for allowing us to uh, participate with this program in the schools, and I think you'll find that the program they've got outlined for us today is uh, going to be really, really great. We're going to now turn it over to Joyce Joseph, and she will introduce the acts and tell you all about them. All right, the band will begin with the national anthem. The band is under the direction of Mr. Tim Tolles and then they will do God Bless the USA.
next we have our McGoffin County High School dancers under the direction of Andrea Preston. from the middle school and the high school, and they are under the direction of Debbie Kane and Mary Jane McDaniel.
more awful. <laughs> Why would you wear that? The directions say come dress nicely. I thought maybe if I dress the part that I could sing. Wait, can you sing? Can I sing? You want to hear? 
La 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 la. Okay, 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 okay. That's enough. You know there are many talented Kentuckians. We have Kentuckians who have been involved in the area of music, drama, writing, politics, sports, and art for many years. We are here to pay tribute to some of those famous Kentuckians. The first famous Kentuckians that we would like to highlight comes from Flatwoods, from Flatwoods, Kentucky. He broke the hearts of many women with his toe-tapping tune, Achy Breaky Heart. <laughs> Singing that song is Jackson Branham. <laughs> And if you tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart, it might blow up and kill this man. Don't tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart, I just don't think it understand. And if you tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart, it might blow up and kill this man. A mother-daughter duo, the Judds, from Ashland, Kentucky, became well-known for their many songs. One of the most well-known, Love Can Build a Bridge, will be performed to us today by Brooklyn Shepherd and Matthew Cope. Miss Patty Loveless grew up in music in Pikeville, Kentucky and in nearby Elkhorn City. Her given name was Patricia Lee Ramey. Her father was a coal miner and she is a cousin to Loretta Lynn. She rose to stardom with her blend of honky tonk and country rock. Here to sing a selection from Never Leave Harlan Alive is Jackie Arna and Emily Fletcher.
Thank you, ladies. Our next tribute is to a woman who was born in a small cabin in an Appalachian coal mining community up at Holler in Johnson County called Butcher Holler. If you guessed Loretta Lynn, you are correct. Loretta has won various awards throughout her musical career, including being inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame and being honored. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> Performing a medley with a few of Loretta Lynn's hits are Zoe Howard, Haley Ratliff, Sarah Howard, Brittany Walters, Kaylee Blanton, Angel, Angel Mullis, and Cheyenne Saylor. Yeah. 
Next, we would like to recognize a few gentlemen who became famous for their work in the music industry. First is Mr. Keith Whitley, born and raised in Sandy Hook, Ricky Skaggs from Cordell, Kentucky, and Chris Stapleton from Staffordsville, Kentucky, in Johnson County. Each of these men have been honored with many awards. Recognizing their special talents and abilities are Kaylee Helton with When You Say Nothing At All, Lauren Hall with Shady Grove, and Never Wanted Nothing More, sung by Kaylee Helton and Lauren Hall.
September 13th, 1941, in Jerusalem Ridge, Kentucky, William Smith Monroe, better known as Bill Monroe, came on the scene. Monroe is credited with the developing of the style of music known as bluegrass, which takes its name from his home state of Kentucky. Monroe's performing career spans 60 years as a singer, instrumentalist, composer, and band leader. He is affectionately referred to as the father, father of bluegrass. We hope you enjoyed these selections that, made, that helped make Monroe a household name performed by Jackson Branham, Isabella Coe, and Matthew Coe.
Kentucky Linda kissed me and she cried I told her that I would not linger I'd be back by and by I'm going back to old Kentucky There to see Back to old Kentucky, where the skies are always blue. Linda Lou, she is a beauty. Those pretty brown eyes, I love so well. I'm going back to old Kentucky. Never more say farewell. There to see my Linda Lou. I'm going back to old Kentucky Where the skies are always blue I am a poor wayfaring stranger while traveling through this world of woe. There's no sickness, toil, or danger in that bright. We would like to take this moment to recognize a few famous Kentuckians who have become from right here in McGoffin County. First, you will note the pictures here on stage. These are prints from our very own hometown artist, Mr. Tom Whitaker. Tom is also a recording artist and author. The next artist we can tag as a McGoffin County is Mr. Charlie Sizemore. He's a bluegrass singer, songwriter, and guitarist. Charlie Sizemore was raised from right here in McGoffin County where both his father and grandfather were banjo players. He understandably grew up fascinated by mountain and bluegrass music. Charlie became an excellent musician, singer, and songwriter. He performed with Ralph Stanley, the Clinch Mountain Boys, Lum Patton, the Going Brothers, and Keith Whitley. He performed with the band called the Charlie Sizemore Band. Here's one of the songs, The Church by Side of the Road, performed by Kendall Bland. I'm a little too tall for this. Oftentimes in my memories I wander again to the old church by the road. I can see the dear people and hear them so plain sing songs of that blessed abode. I can hear my dear mother, she firmly prayed, bless Jesus to carry my load. She was never downhearted and never dismayed in the little by the road, there my mother would pray, and 
and sisters and say, sing and sinners, repent for your sin. There the angels were crowded, and the sisters all shouted, and the bread was saved, amen. It was there I met Jesus and gave him my life, it was there he took weight off my load. And he freely removed all the sorrows and strives in the little old church by the road. Then there is Rebecca Lee Howard. Rebecca grew up here in McGoffin County. She participated in many activities. Here, but of one of her favorite was entertaining her fellow students and teachers with her beautiful music. Her big break came when she recorded softly and tenderly for the soundtrack of the 1997 Robert DeVal movie, The Apostle. Howard debuted on MCA Nashville in 1999. She wrote songs recorded by Trisha Yearwood, one of which was, I Don't Paint Myself in the Corners Anymore. In 2002, Howard scored her own hit, Forgive. She also recorded with Steven Tyler and Loving Mary. Here to sing Forgive for us is Olivia Pelfrey. to introduce our musicians on keyboard junior at NCHS Keenan Conley guitar sophomore Matthew Cole guitar and mandolin sophomore Kendall Blanton guitar recent NCHS graduate and UPOC freshman Brooklyn Shepherd And my name is Morgan Dameron. My name is Haley Ratliff. John Ward. And we would like to thank you for attending our performance today. Let's give a big hand for our performers. Now for the big finale. Wait, what are you talking about? My, my solo. I think the audience have been tortured by you enough tonight. Can I get some help over here? <laughs> to end our show, we would like to sing a song that has been recorded by a famous duo from Floyd County, known as Sunday Best. 
Singing that song is, oh my, Mr. John Ward. the benches that Mr. Helton was talking to you about earlier. They were done by the vocational school and the high school. If you want to come around and look at them after a while, just remember they're still wet. So you might want, not want to sit down on them or handle them. Okay, next we have the middle school choir and that's under the direction of Christy Howard. I am the choir director at the middle school. And uh, the lineup we have, we're going to have three solo artists at first, and then our choir is going to come up and sing. So our first soloist is Emily Fletcher, and she is singing Black Velvet.
the stage next is Zoe Howard, and she says she's going to introduce herself, so I'm going to let her have at it. Well, I'm Zoe Howard. I'm going to be singing and playing praying. I've never actually um, played guitar in front of people, you know, and sung at the same time, so yeah. Here it goes. Well, you almost had me fall. Told me that I was nothing without you And after everything you've done I can thank you for how strong I have become Cause you brought the things and you put me through hell I had a lot of fight for myself And I see this all the truth I can tell And I see this all the wish you fell I hope you somewhere pray, yeah Pray, yeah, and I hope you somewhere change Changing, changing. I hope you find your peace, falling on your knees. Pray, yeah. I'm proud of who I am. No more monsters I can breathe again. to come, cause you bought the things and you put me through hell, I had to learn how to fight for myself, and I see this so the truth I can tell, and I see this so I wish you farewell, I hope you're somewhere pray, yeah, pray, yeah, and I hope your soul is changing, changing, I hope you find your peace, falling on your knees. Thank you. Our next soloist is Isabella Cole. Facing problems on my own I don't know what's best for me My mistakes at times are stored All the plans that you and me
introduce uh, my choir to the stage, the entire choir. Uh, it's been an honor. This is the second year. It's the first year last year that we'd had our choir back in quite a few years, and I couldn't be happier with the echo and the gifted and talented for them to be recognizing the arts this year and last year and for it to continue to grow. Um, and welcome to the stage, the HWMS Choir.
I know this is a bare field here last summer, and it rained on us every time you were we caught you on the shelf. Especially Larry Sparks. winners to compete in March at the Big Sandy Idol in Prestonsburg and I'm going to introduce you to the winner. Second place winner was Mr. Isaac Perkins. He will sing his song now. Yeah. 
tops off a flatbed truck Crunching on a poor ground when she pulled up She had to be thinking this is where rednecks come from She had Hollywood written on her license plate She was lost and looking for the interstate Needing directions I was a man for the job on her way up yonder past the caution lights There's a little country store with an old coke sign You gotta stop and ask Miss Bell Summer sweet tea And a left will take you to the interstate But a ride will bring you right back here to me And I was sitting there Thinking about her pretty face Kicking myself for not catching her name I threw my hat, thought you fool It could have been love I knew my old Ford couldn't run her down She probably didn't knock me anyhow I watched her disappear into a cloud of dust Told her way up yonder past the caution lights There's a little country store with an old coke sign You gotta stop and ask Miss Bell for some of her sweet tea And a lamp will take you to the interstate But a ride will bring you right back here tricks on me or am I really seeing what I think I see the woman of my dreams coming back to me she went past the caution lights I don't know why but something felt right when she stopped and asked Miss Bell for summer sweet tea Mama gave her a big old glass and sent her right back here to me Thank God for good direction. All right, this concludes our echo part of the program. Uh, I was told by the, uh, is it Kiwanis? Kiwanis Club has train rides for kids over here on the sidewalk. Anybody want to go on a train ride? <laughs>